嗨，各位同学好，我是 David 老师，欢迎来到 f o r t y p h o n i x 自然音标。f o r t y p h o n i x 自然音标的课程，今天老师要为你介绍的是 Vocabulary of the Day。Vocabulary of the Day， 同样的，我们今天可以到 cn.com， 呃，点击 cn.com 去寻找本日的 Headline News of the Day， 每日焦点新闻。并且从中去了解一些单词的拼音技巧以及模型。Okay, students, let's go to the cn.com, edition.cn.com, and search for the headline news of the day, and we can properly learn some vocabulary, spelling, and pronunciation rules. Take a look from the top story today: aviation history as solar plan lands in U.S. Top stories: Aviation history as solar plant lands in U.S. Top stories: Aviation history as a solar plant lands in U.S. Okay, let's check out the story, the headline news from today, and students. Remember, if you would like to study with me with these articles, simply on the top right hand side, you will see the search menu from CNN. All you have to do just input the headline right here into the search menu, and we can have the same story to study with. And the story, the headline is "Solar Impulse to Land in California." After Pacific flight, again, solar impulse to land in California. After Pacific flight, flight, again, article for today is solar impulse to land in California after Pacific flight. Here we see an image. Right here we see the image. And the description for the image is solar power plant touches down in California. Okay, let's check out the story highlight. Pioneering solar plant lands safely in the continental U.S. Nobody's done this before. There's no guidebook. Director says. The flight's mission is to showcase the power of clean technology. Okay, the CNN news: An experimental plan flying around the world without a single drop of fuel landing in California after a two and a half day flight across the Pacific. Piloted by Swiss explorer and the psychiatrist Bertrand Picard, solar impulse to touch down in the mountain view just before midnight, 3 a.m. Eastern time. It's a new era. It's not science fiction. It's today. Picard tells the A.M. from California after his successful voyage. He exists, and clean technologies can do the impossible. Images of the elegant solar aircraft, which has the wingspan of a Boeing 747, but not, but only weighs about as much as an SUV, flying over the Golden Gate Bridge into San Francisco Bay. Marks a significant achievement. The team has seen the project beset with problems and setbacks during its pioneering airborne circumnavigation. I'm very happy that everything works extremely well and the airplane is functioning as it should. Picard's business partner and the plans. 
are the pilots with engineer Andrew Boschberg to CNN by phone from California just ahead of the successful on scheduling. It's a demonstration that the tech is reliable. The plane took off on Hawaii on Thursday, resuming a journey they had stalled on the islands of Oahu for almost 10 months. Okay, students, I'm going to stop right here. And we have uh, uh, more stories. Uh, and uh, if you would like to study, you can go ahead and study yourself. And now let's check out the vocabulary note I have prepared for you guys to study for today. First things, let's read the headline news with me. Top stories. Aviation history as solar plant lands in U.S. Top stories. Aviation history as sol solar plant lands in U.S. Again, this headline is top stories. Aviation history as solar plant lands in U.S. Okay, here we have two vocabulary words for today. Now is the time we are going to discuss the vocabulary words, meaning, usage, pronunciation, and definition. We are using spelling bees, pronunciation, and spelling improvement and skill. Take a look at the first vocabulary words: solar. Solar, solar, adjective, relating to or determined, determined by the sum solar radiation. More example sentences: Mars has only the tiniest trace of magnetic fields, nothing like the huge bubble that surrounds the Earth. And protect us from solar and cosmic radiation. Origin: Late Middle English from Latin solaris from sol, sun. And the second vocabulary word: impulse, impulse, impulse. Num. A sudden, strong, and unreflecting urge or desire to act. I had an almost irresistible impulse to giggle. What is the most interesting? Birdman wants to portray the powerful, often destructive desires and impulses lying beneath placid. Social exteriors. Origin: Early 17th century, as a verb in the sense "give an impulse to." The verb of Latin "impulse" driven on the noun from "impulses," impulsion, outward pressure, both from the verb "impeller." See "impel." Now, student, it's a time We're going to re uh, repeat the pronunciation and definition part again. And this time, I would like you to read along with me. Let's do it together. Solar, solar, solar. Adjective relating to or determined by the sum solar radiation. More example sentences. Mars has only the tiniest trace of magnetic fields, nothing like the huge bubble that surrounds the Earth and protects us from solar and cosmic radiation. Origin: Late Middle English from Latin solaris, from sol, sun. Second vocabulary words. Impulse, impulse, impulse. Num, a sudden, 
strong and unreflective urge or desire to act. I had an almost irresistible impulse to giggle. Oh, it's almost insistent. Berman wants to portray the powerful, often destructive desires and impulses lying beneath placid social exteriors. Origin early 17th century as a very in the sense give an impulse to the verb from Latin impulse driven on the noun from impulses, impulsion. Our pressure flows from the verb impeller. See, impel. And now, to redefine these two vocabularies, use 44 next advanced pronunciation and spelling improvement and skill. Now, let's see how you can build it. From the same way, you can see the same way. But the same way, you can see the same way. Let's see how you can see the same way. 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 多一个这个字哈过来。那 solo 呢？它的重音是在第一个音节，所以我们看第一个音节有我们的 strong， 它是我们的 strong syllable 啊，我们的 strong syllable。那我们在看到这边有个重音符号 main stress 主重音符号啊，在这个地方哈，所以第一个音节是我们的 strong syllable 啊，我们强音节啊，强音节。那我们的我们在第二个音节就是我们的弱音节哈，啊弱音节哈，所以弱音节很简单哈，先找到第一个母音，从左向右看，啊从左向右看，找到第一个母音在哪里，就是 a， 我们写一个弱母音符号，啊补一个轻声呃呃，所以我们就了了了，啊这样子写了，所以在。A 的地方是弱母音。好了，第第一个音节是强音节哈，强音节我们就看它的母音跟子音哈 ，vowel and consonant 的这个组合。好，所以我们可以看到它是 onset s 啊，开头首音 s， 尾随的核音母核音 nucleus o， 啊是核音在 o， 它没有 coda。好，所以我们再再转过来 ，s o syllable l l a r main stress first syllable。第一个音节组合是 consonant vowel syllable。好，它是一个 consonant vowel syllable。啊，为什么是 consonant vowel syllable 呢？因为这个母音后面哈，我们有核音却没有尾音，所以我们就要拿这个 syllable 来替代尾音。这时候它就变成啊。核音啊，也就是我们的核音加 syllable 加音节，它就是一个 v and syllable 哈、啊、的组合啊。这时候就会从这个啊音节符号里面画一个箭头朝上啊，勾起来的箭头朝上，我们称这个叫做 open syllable 哈、啊。这个公式啊，在啊这个公式啊，以自然发音的公式来说，就是 open syllable 开放音节，所以 open syllable 就会把前面这个 o 拉成什么？长母音，这 o 就念 o。so so， 刚刚的 a 还是补个 a， 所以 le le。solar 啊，所以我看到 solar again s o syllable l a r。man strike first syllable first syllable strong syllable consonant vowel syllable。Vowel and syllable, open syllable, no vowels, no vowel. O, so, second syllable, weak syllable, without a, a, ending a r, ler, solar, solar, solar. 好，我们来看第二个单词 impulse, i m p u P U L S E， 双重音哈，少见的双重音。我们看 impulse， 十七世纪的字
啊，来自拉丁文 impulse 啊，啊，所以这个字哈、啊、跟拉丁文就很像了哈，啊，只是我们多了个一。那这个音节是少见的哈，双音节双重音啊，双音节双重音，所以它也主重音啊 ，main stress 在第一个音节 ，secondary stress 次重音，啊啊，在第二音节。啊，所以双重音是我们两个地方都要把它圈起来，所以两个音节都是我们的 strong syllable， 强音节哈，两个音节都是我们的 strong syllable， 啊，两个音节都是我们的强音节。这时候我们看第一个音节，我们就叹叹号，强音节的时候我们看它的 vowel and consonant 组合。第一个音节，啊，它是母音开头，所以它是 nucleus 开头 ，nucleus i。啊，合音在 i， 不一样的是它有尾音，所以尾音是什么 ？m 啊 ，coda 是 m， 所以尾音是 m。你可以说 coda 就等于韵音 ，rhymes，rhymes 就在 i m in， 啊 ，i m in。而第二个音节我们看哈，一样，它有 onset， 啊 ，onset，p。啊，开头首音是 p，nucleus， 啊 ，nucleus，nucleus 合音在什么 ？u 合音在 u， 尾音呢就比较特别，它尾音是三个字 ，coda 是 l s e， 啊，尾音是 l s e， 好，我们这一结尾都是不发音哈 ，nucleus and coda 等于 rhymes。因为它的 rhyme 是很特别，就是 u l s e， 啊，啊，好，所以我们来先看 impulse again i n syllable p u l s e main stress first syllable secondary stress second syllable， 啊，非常少见的双音节双重音，所以 first syllable vowel consonant vowel v n c vowel and consonant。啊，当然我们知道，当它的啊 nucleus 加 rhyme 哈 nucleus 加 coda 啊合合音加尾音，有这个地方如果是 v 加 c v c v c c 或 v c c c 都会等于什么 short vowels short vowels 啊短母音，所以这是我们从 m 地方画一条横线过来，遇到母音朝下，所以念短母音 in。in， 而第二个音节我们看看组合是 consonant vowel， 啊 ，consonant vowel， consonant consonant e， 啊，所以它是 v c c e， 那我们知道结尾 e 是不发音的，结尾 e 是不发音 ，vowel， 所以我们看它是 vowel， consonant， 啊 ，consonant e， 所以 e 不发音先打叉。啊，结尾音都不发音。u 啊 ，s l 这边倒过来之后，遇到 u 朝下又变短母音，啊，所以这边又是一个短母音，所以 p o、哦、二、呃，好，我们念二、呃、o、哦、pause， 好，所以 s e 啊 ，s e 好，记得 s e 啊 ，z e 啊 ，v e f e 结尾的时候 ，d 都是不发音。啊，这个蛮简单的一个公式哈，好，所以我们再看一下哈 ，I am syllable P U L S E， main stress first syllable， secondary stress second syllable， first syllable strong syllable， vowel consonant， nucleus and coda， V and C， vowel and consonant， short vowels， short vowel I E。E second syllable consonant vowel consonant consonant E. You play some coda V C C E. Ending E silent V C C. Short vowels. Short vowels U, 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 U. Pause. Pause. Impulse. 
impulse impulse 好我们提这两个单词再多练几个 solar 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 impulse 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 以上就是今天的 vocabulary of the day， 每日单词。同学们，我们就 David 老师用啊 p h o n i c 啊，自然发音的公式，带你进入 phonetic 音标的世界。也用 phonetic 自然音标，用线形符号来表达啊母音发音的可能性，用短母音、长母音、轻母音、双母音，或者是破音字，或者用线形符号来表达子音的特殊发音形式，如二合子音、不发音等等。能帮助到你的听技巧逻辑的话，也欢迎大家用 Google Plus。啊，别忘了，可以用 Google Plus、Google 加 David T T I N G A D A 老师的 ID， 加这个老师做好友。Friends, if you like my pronunciation videos, simply you can use Google Plus, find my ID David T T I N G A D A, and join me within the Google Plus fan circle. I'm also have a Weibo and my Weibo account is David T I N G A D A. And remember, if you would like to write me an email, here's my email account: David T I N A D A at hotmail dot com. Only single T right here, and my WeChat is David T I N A D A. And thanks for your video watching, sharing my YouTube channel, and of course, if you like, would like to receive the new update from my、uh, video. Uh, my pro my pronunciation video simply.、Uh, I would like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and 不要忘记可以订阅这个老师的 YouTube 频道。如果你喜欢我的影集，订阅之后就会有我们的最新的影影带更新。以上就今天的 vocabulary of day 每一单词啊，谢谢各位的观赏。